Hey Internet, Matt Saletti here for DubSpot, taking a look at the new Machine 2.2 update. These new features are very self-explanatory, so there's not a lot to teach here, and instead we're just going to kind of whip together a quick track and show you how the workflow is. Alright, so we're going to concern ourselves with four major improvements inside of Machine 2.2. The first being scales, second being chords, third being an arpeggiator, and fourth, some little browser tweaks that just make our lives a little bit easier. So let's start actually with the browser. Let's go find a sound. Now we know we can always browse. We can come to, let's go load up a complete instrument in this case. Now you'll see, as soon as I would touch the knob, we'll get an extra little window here that pops up. It just makes navigation that much easier. So let's go find a reactor instrument. We know there's so many reactor instruments, it's very helpful to have this extra little screen pop up. And let's load an instance of Steam Pipe. Okay, now if we go to pad mode, remember we can lock pad mode and I'll go to keyboard mode. We see what we're used to seeing. All the pads laid out in chromatic fashion, each a half step up. So if we wanted to play the minor scale, we would have to remember whole note, half note, whole note, you know, all this kind of interval steps. if we were to play a C minor scale right there. It can be difficult, especially if you want to play different, more exotic scales, of which now you have many inside of the machine. And you just access them from pad mode, keyboard mode, and you can see them all here. Some very exotic, some very simple. If I wanted that same minor scale now, you can see it looks a little bit different. And in fact, it actually tells you which notes are in the scale. This actually gives you more real estate since we only have 16 pads. I can play two octaves worth of the C minor scale now. Very, very helpful. And what happens if you want to do different kinds of scales, like maybe you want to do a walking bass line. <laughs> because we're all doing blues-based hip-hop beats, right? Um, what about something more interesting like flamenco? I can turn into Al Di Miola all of a sudden. So imagine in a live performance having this, not have to worry about messing up and just being able to play cool melodies. Uh, very, very useful and a lot of fun and very inspiring even. So let's use something easy like a minor pentatonic. You know, you can't really mess up a minor pentatonic. So I have a nice stretch of octaves here. You can see each root note is a higher color or a, a brighter color of the LED. So let's just throw together a quick little two bar pattern. Very simple. Now what if I wanted to add a harmony to this melody? Well, let's go in and let's actually browse for a new instrument. Let's go get a traditional piano. And I'm going to use another complete instrument, even though we have pianos inside a machine. Let's go get the Gentleman, which is a nice kind of upright piano. And let's get a nice sparkling upright so it's nice and in your face. Let's go back into pad mode, keyboard mode, and now let's actually use some chords. Because what's important here is that chords are very hard to play on pads without knowing what interval and everything. If I want to play a major, you know, I have to know it's this combination, but it's not the same combination necessarily starting from a different pad. Major, minor can be very difficult. What if I want to play more exotic things like perfect fifth? Or a suspended fourth? I might not even know how to play that. Or a 
minor seventh flat fifth. You see what I'm saying? Fun, interesting stuff. So we can do that. Or we can use these phenomenal chord sets. And what's really cool about this, let's use a minor chord set and let's stay in C. Now you can see pre-made arrangement, harmony arrangements, chord progressions basically, set out for you on the screen. So right away I have an idea of a harmony I could put in here, a chord arrangement, chord progression. So let's go ahead and add a eight bar loop. I'm gonna navigate out here. Oops, navigate, page navigate. Let's get in here so you can see the whole thing. And I'm just gonna record an idea now based on these chord sets. totally useful and what you'll notice is I hit one key and it actually plays it out on the MIDI roll here which is very important because machine is the only place this is gonna happen um, you may have seen the native instruments complete control keyboards which you can use inside of a DAW and it has the same scale in chord mode except the fact that you're just hitting one note and it's just tracking one note in the MIDI roll instead of seeing it all arranged right here in the piano roll which is super helpful because maybe I want to go in to step mode and I don't know maybe I want to go in and actually create some inversions or something let's go here let's shift note let's put this up an octave create an inversion of that chord same with this guy you know kind of switch things around a bit we'll go to the root note here and actually bump that up a bit so it doesn't mess with the bass line or something <laughs> Just move him over. All right. So that's pretty simple. And of course, you have many, many different kinds of chord types, chord sets. I think more will be added. I can't confirm that yet, but um, they're all very different. They're all very unique and very inspiring, honestly. That's the best part about this is like, I would have never came up with that probably. I can play a little piano, but that puts me in a mode where I'm already ready to write Maybe we want to add some drums now. So let's go in and find uh, a proper group. I'm going to use an expansion pack called Halcyon Sky because I already know this is kind of like down tempo, chill. We could probably add something pretty easy. You can see how quickly a song starts to come together. Now let's add a bass line, and I want the bass to follow this minor pentatonic, C minor pentatonic scale. So one thing I can do that's pretty slick here is let's go ahead and hold duplicate, and I'm gonna duplicate that one sound over to group D. So I basically duplicated group A to group D. And now I wanna go back in the browse, and I'm gonna hit this little magnifying glass because this is going to kind of reset oops once I'm in instruments it will it's gonna reset the types all those parameters I already searched for and maybe I want to stay in reactor but search all reactor instruments now because I know reactor has great great sub bases or something so I want to add that all right and let's um, look at 19 results you can you can just go in and find exactly the kind of sound you need not even knowing where it's coming from <laughs> All right, so what's important about the reason I duplicate is because now I'm actually locked into that same kind of scale without having to go reset the minor pentatonic and do all this. So let's go ahead and record an eight bar bass line to go along with the piano arrangement we just played. Let 
now I'm messing up all over. Very simple. I'm able to kind of remember where my chord arrangement, my chord uh, progression was going because I'm looking kind of at the notes and I'm saying, I remember that. I remember we hit a G and a B flat. So it's very helpful in this sense. So easily, I'm just adding and adding and adding on top. Lastly, let's go ahead and add an arpeggiator. So what I'm going to do is actually just come up and let's grab. Uh, an instance of massive, just use a basic boring patch actually. We'll go new sound, route this to filter one. Ugh, boring. But put in pad mode, keyboard mode. Once I'm in keyboard mode, I can go ahead and hit. Um, let's actually go back and let's dial up that minor pentatonic again. That way we'll know we're playing in the right spot. If I now hit note repeat, It'll bring me to the arpeggiator page. And I have several types to choose from. Up, down, up and down, the order I played in a chord. Order I played is one of my favorites because it's a little easier to work with. You can also adjust the rhythm timing of it if you want dotted, triplet, normal. And then choose a certain amount of octaves maybe. And then you have some great options as far as controlling how the dynamics are played in, all the way to very quiet, velocity-wise, very loud, and everything in between. And you also have a gate parameter. Which will kind of, obviously, gate it, make it more a little staccato if you need. And we can just record something like this in for, let's do a four bar. And now watch, as you would play this, it's actually going to track out. And there you go. Pretty easy. We can even just dial in the sound a bit more here. Let's add like a nice little sync delay. Let's do like this. Let's add a little envelope modulation to the filter so we can actually just kind of have that punch a little bit more. And now what's also slick about this is I can go ahead and even overdub on top of this, but change some parameters. So maybe I want the gate to be much shorter on the second round. And now I can just record on top. And you can change all sorts of parameters. So. Very exciting, very helpful. We just stayed, we created a short little idea without doing anything but using machine and using a couple different chords and scales and really just being inspired to create more and more. I'm absolutely loving it. And I think it's a lot of fun and I think you will too. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.